Hey guys, Dirk here, Freedom Lifestyles Academy. You are here because you are searching for a solution for your action and follow block on Instagram. And whether or not maybe you were running in Jarvi, I presume that you were on Jarvi or using any sort of automation tool. Um, why are you action blocked? And what is, you know, more important, what is the solution? Because it's super, super frustrating. Uh, I know exactly what it is. It started around June 4th. Uh, massive massive blocks for everyone and then it uh, some were left you know we have this uh, this 206,000 uh, followings per month actions per month that seems to stick still seems to stick and then you know, some were lifted and then between 19 and 26 June we had a, another wave of being action blocked and follow block it, it is possible that you hear my dog it is possible that you hear my neighbor because he's uh, I live on the countryside of Costa Rica all thanks to, uh, by the way, uh, Instagram and using Jarvin automation in Instagram. And if you like to learn how to run your Instagram automated, if you want to learn more about, you know, I have more guidance and, uh, and support from me, then, you know, look in the description below this video and you will find uh, our Instagram course. You're more than welcome to join us. We have a weekly live Q&A. You can ask me everything and, uh, you know, we figure things out. But there are four four reasons why you're uh, action blocked, and I want to give you the solution as well. One is proxy, uh, the settings of your software. Number two, the settings of your software and the amount of activities in the last thirty days, like I said before, and the fingerprint uh, of your device, so your the device fingerprint. So that is all being said. I run personally a lot of accounts for clients, so it's super frustrating if they are blocked. I mean, your own accounts are blocked, maybe you're doing affiliate marketing, you see your income drop, but you know, if you have clients, you want to keep them happy, you want to see income, because that is probably residual income, right? Um, so what is it that you can do? So if they are blocked, so first of all, stop the tool, just stop it for at least 48 hours, and then, or not 48 hours, stop the tool until um you or your client but it's you you can do it let's say I, i'm gonna go for that you are in jarvi because you know that is I, in my opinion the best automation tool out there what you do is you go or if it's in a uh, in different software and you have something similar go to the embedded browser and log in if you can follow somebody there manually so you go in just follow someone and then refresh the page as well and see if the follow sticks if that sticks, okay, super. That is the moment you're gonna. St we start doing things, but do not start the tool yet. Have it uh, stop for at least uh, 48 more hours. Then you start the follow tool, right? So when your embedded browser works, leave it off for 48 hours. Then start again, and then start slow, five to 15 followers per day, and do this for three to five days just to warm up your account again. And then slowly add, you know, 10 people per day. Do not go over that 200. That is that is something maybe it's not 100% confirmed, but it's what I, you know, I'm not going over that. If I go over that, I tested it, it blocks are followed. So I'm not going over the 200 uh, for now. So embedded browser, yes. Wait for 48 hours, start following five to 15 people per day um that is that is a big difference so if you have not changed your dedicated proxies to mobile proxies then you know if you have no issues whatsoever super i'm, I'm super happy for you but if you not think twice man what does it cost you if your accounts are blocked and i've got clients that say oh but it's so expensive these mobile proxies yes they are super expensive the good thing is is i run three um uh, accounts on one proxy so that it makes it a little bit better right um if you want to learn more about these proxies go check out this video i mentioned that i do five accounts on one proxy i came back from that um it gives errors three is the max and that is uh, that is uh, what i found to be safe so that is a good 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 thing so for your follow settings quickly um if you do five to five five to fifty follows per day make sure that between every action every operation is about 60 to 90 40 to 120 minutes delay really do it super slowly now you have all day right and if you are following our instagram training i see all the, put all these intervals in it so that is even more 
but 5 to 15, you know, just put them out over the day. And uh, between each follow, you know, you can do 20 to 40 seconds, 20 to 40 seconds, maybe even a little bit longer to really go that delay. You're not going to follow, 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 follow. You, oh, you check somebody out and yeah, I follow them and you go to. So we're going to mimic uh, human behavior and that is good. So for story views and story comments, go. Just go and do your thing. There's no limitations so far. I haven't found anything. You can just, you know, go through stories and, and comment on them and, and, and do your thing. Uh, for likes, if you're using dedicated proxies, 100 likes per day, max 130. That is what I found to have the limit in um, in, in getting blocked. Uh, mobile proxies, I have accounts up to 400 likes a day. Um, mix it, uh, normal likes, and mix it with a uh, uh, like after follow or like before follow. That gives it really increases your uh, follow back ratio, and you know that is what what you want, especially for your clients account. You want new followers, you want more engagement, and this really helps. For f uh, um, uh, comments, um, no, it's nothing really changed. I stay in a range between 70 and 230 if I do it. I always find uh, comments a bit tricky, but now with this all these limitations, I got back to that. And you know, try to give. You know, don't don't fall in the trap that if somebody posts about my dad just died, and you say, "Yay, congratulations!" You know, think about it. Think about what you're commenting. Um, if you're doing that on hashtags or certain accounts, make sure that you know what you're doing. Uh, direct messaging for I send direct messaging to new followers, maximum 40 per day. Um, that is feels like a limit. Uh, it feels like uh, an error, like or for an error and a uh, safe settings to go for. So uh, another thing, if you are API blocked, that is super frustrating. Um, there are a few things that you can need to do. What you can do is you go to settings. So Jarvi, on the if you look at it on the left side, go to settings, then um, social platform in the top, and then I put a picture in here. I can't share my screen. Somehow the Wi-Fi does not allow me to do this, so I'm gonna put images for you in here, so you know exactly where to go. Settings, social platforms, of course Instagram, and then scroll somewhere in the middle. You see it here in the picture. Uh, make sure to uncheck the uh, use embedded browser to follow, to like, and to comment. All three, make sure that they are unchecked. Mm, could be that they are already unchecked anyway, but make sure that they are unchecked. Then you go back to the accounts that are uh, that are blocked, uh, and, and then and you can uh, you first take one, and you go to social uh, to profile uh, social profiles, and then you scroll down to advanced settings. There you scroll to the middle and make sure to check the box use embedded browser to follow, to like, to comment when action blocked. Make sure that they are checked. Uh, another solution or alternative um, uh, without resetting your device ID for accounts that are working on the phone, but not in about embedded browser. So, you know, if you, if you, um, uh, your client or yourself, you log in on your phone, you think you can follow. But if you are in Jarvi and you are doing your thing, and uh, so you go to the embedded browser and that it does not work. So, what you can do is you can um, go to social profiles, the, the accounts that are, are doing this, and then you tick the accounts. Then at the bottom, you see uh, action actions uh, taken on, on selected accounts. Uh, yeah, if I say it correctly, right? Tick that. And then you scroll down, and if you scroll all the way further down, you can clear cookies. Just clear the cookies, and you scroll a little bit up, and then it says start and stop the tools. Start and stop the tools, uh, or other way, stop and start the tools. So you make sure that you are, or you do it manually. You go to the tools and you turn them off and turn them back on. But both both are great. But you need to turn them back up and uh, off and back on. Sorry guys. So that should uh, that should work. And for login loop and two-factor authentication, it's not showing up. Um, it's, well, what else you can do is you can add a new Instagram account. You, you're, you're taking the old account out and you put it back in with a new account as if it is a new account. That's something works. So you just go add Instagram profile, put the username, put the um, uh, password in, connect it to a pro uh, proxy, and 
um, and, 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 and verify it. Um, another thing is that you can do is take your name, you go to your, um, uh, your, your social profiles, to your login details and your credentials and add a, uh, add a, uh, a letter. Uh, X, add, add X or a J or a K or whatever, add it behind, then uh, verify it. It should not work. And then it will say wrong, uh, invalid credentials. So, you know, you got your invalid credentials. Then you copy the whole name, take it out and delete it. And then uh, just click somewhere in the middle, you know, and then it, the cursor goes out, go back in. Paste it back in, delete that extra letter, the X, the Y, the K, or whatever you put behind it, delete that. So it's the correct account name again, and then verify it again, right? So that is, uh, and then it should work. That, that should work. I see that as I have great results that to get out of the um, API block. So these are the four things proxies, wrong settings. If you want to learn more about the safe settings, make sure to check out our Instagram training below here in the description. Uh, you're welcome to join our mastermind group. I'm here for you to help you. Uh, but these things work great, but I definitely recommend also to check out the 4G proxies in this video above. And uh, because ever since I changed to mobile proxies, everything is running super, super nice and great. So that being said, guys, um if you found value in my video then give me a thumbs up you know and take the bell icon so you get notified when i upload a video about another solution or you know you want to stay updated about what we do our channel here is all about creating a freedom freedom lifestyles for you so we upload the videos about jargon instagram automation but also generally about online marketing uh and anyway, if you are in instagram and you are doing high ticket affiliate marketing and you will really really get stuck uh, make sure to click the button below this video there is about a, uh, a case study that our friend and mentor uh, uh, joshua is doing and after you know implementing this especially with uh, you know the tricks and trips of uh, instagram make sure you do not bet on one horse if you have a business that that you know that depends on instagram you experience that it is super super dangerous to have that make sure to focus on different traffic sources and more and more strategies so go out it's free you know to just check out the free stage, uh, case study and i'm looking forward to hear from you and if you have any any questions guys whatsoever put them here in the comments below this video i'm here for you to help you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up checking out bye for now ciao